Shall we continue? Here's these petroglyphs. We're going to continue down. We're going to head east. I say down. We're not. I'm going to stay up close to this rock face. There's stuff all the way along it. And they've got some really neat ones right here. They're almost completely, completely lost. You can tell that they were pecked in and they've eroded out. But you've got some sitting over here. And you got some interesting ones right through there. Not sure what they represent. They're so far gone, they're hard to tell. I keep I'm not a very good travel guide, am I? There's a couple of humanoids, we'll call them over here. And I didn't see it before, but look at that. There's part of a spiral going on below that one. Trying to remember to pan slower. But I get excited. Forgive me. Here. Almost lost. What do you think they're trying to represent there? Humanoid figure. And then a large X cross shape. Now, can you guys see these? I pray you can. Right here. Look real close. There's like a three arm spiral there. There's another shape there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. And then some peckings. What did those used to be? trying to ignore the P Mazet over there. But what did these shapes used to be here? These are old. I mean, these are really old. Look at them all the way down inside here. Any suggestions? Oh, you know what? Let's see. This right here. There's another, maybe a face. I thought it was a giraffe for a second. Maybe that's just a face, but it's so old, it's hard to see. I'm looking up above me. I'm not sure that particular trip up there is going to be a fruitful one. So we're going to stay on this level. And it's a good thing I did. There are some more. I hope you guys can see them. Right there. Somebody stood on this incline and pecked out petroglyphs right there. But I mean, to stand there, oh, peck them out. Followed by those. A lot of work. I'm going to have to drop down a level. I'm kind of curious is where that little cave was that I saw. Is it up above me? Let's see. Or did it deteriorate so badly down through here that it is hard? Nope, there it is. Okay. Now, these are ones I believe I saw with the drone. The wind got too bad. I'm going to have to do a little voice over here so that you guys can hear. Saw it, figured I'd try to get up here, and I did. And it's more magnificent in person than it is from the drone. The large animals, the humanoids, the man creatures. There's a large 
continual line going right through the center of it. That's got me questioning is what it was designed for. It's pretty spectacular up close. Then you come over here, and there's 31 dots in that matrix panel right there. What do you think they're trying to signify with that? Could it have been a days of a month? Could that have been a just a lucky guess on a trip that they took? We'll probably never know, but if you got any ideas, let me know. I'm going to try to climb up right there, see if I can't get myself a little closer. I was going to turn it off, but... Funnily enough, I decided to leave it on because I figured that if I went down, there'd be a nice record of me going down and somebody would say, what an idiot. But I got up here and it's a little bit sketchy and I'm not sure how those guys did it way back in the day. Because you've got to apply force while you're on the edge of this cliff here doing your peckings. You can see this kind of looks like a, a democratic elephant right there, which I thought was kind of funny. But you got a whole mountain scene going on behind it. Were they showing trails? Look at these old, old ones. And then we got the obligatory idiots who had to come up and put their name right over everything else. Drives me nuts when I see that kind of stuff. But let's look back at the old stuff here. What were they signifying with the mountains and the peaks like this? Random peckings. The humanoids are really spectacular looking when you see them. There's two or three of them up here that I thought were quite neat. The triangles they have going down there with the mountains on them. If you got any ideas, leave them below in the comments. I'd be curious to see what you think they are. Now this line right here travels all the way across the rock. Are they trying to show boundaries? We got fencing. Are we showing days of a journey? What do you think we got going on here, folks? I realize I'm doing a voiceover, but I'm trying to keep up with the original narrative. So if it sounds kind of kind of funny, that was the reason. Now, right below us, that's the pit house and then the cliff structure right out there at the end. We haven't got there, but we're getting closer. I'm going to head on down again and transfer you back. Get down. This is the exact same way I came down the first time I came down through there. Go figure. I think we're getting close to that little tiny cave I saw with the drone. See this little square pattern here? Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit on it. Yeah, there it is. It's got 31 holes in it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then the bottom row has 6. 31 days? You let me know. Or is that thinking too deeply into it? Look at these right here. These remind me, I'm not going to say old, but they remind me of a youth that almost looks like a shield. I could be completely wrong on that one. And then here is some old, old, ancient, or at least weather-worn, petroglyphs. You can hardly see them. Like I was saying, glad I'm up here now. In a couple more years... Either A, that have fallen off, you won't be able to see them, the weather, or people will be scratching their names into them. Or shooting them up. Boy, this slow panning stuff is really difficult. <laughs> Nope, this was not that little cave system I saw. Where was that little cave system? I'm thinking I'm above it. I'm going to continue down here for a couple seconds. Because every time I think we're out of an area where there's going to be anything, I find stuff. So we walk over here. I'm going to head down 
over here, cut down through that rock right there, get down behind that one, go down right through there, because I think right underneath that rock over here is where that cave is. This is where we go, folks, right down through here. these rocks nothing else this sandstone sure gives good solid footing and we're back to the petroglyphs okay so we were just up there you can see the petroglyphs that we looked at are right in here I'm heading down, I'm looking, I keep calling it a cave, more of a crevice, but there were petroglyphs around it. Now I'm just curious to see how big it was. I took pictures of it with the drone. I want to see if they were big enough to have gotten into. If there's any type of, any signs that they built a granary out of it. Or if it was just a cool place for the young ones to get away to, you know, spend a couple hours vandalizing the cliff. For those of you keeping score, that's the third snake skin up here, which is why I'm glad I'm here in the winter as opposed to the summer. There's a lot more snakes around and active at that time. So, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I found these petroglyphs right here. They're very old, very faint. You can definitely see them. I didn't think I'd be able to identify them from the drone pictures, but you can see them on the rock here. And then this piece up above it was broke off from up above, but I couldn't find where it was. I guess people did, or maybe they didn't lift them up, move them around, but there they are. And you can see they're part of the cliff face. Then you can see the little cave coming in. It's a lot, lot smaller than I thought it was. More of a crevice, but who knows? It's still a cave of sorts. And you can see the real small petroglyphs here that have been pecked into it. These are old. I'm on my hands and knees, so if I winch or move around, I got, a, I got a rock in the knee. But you can see the peckings there. Pretty long one. I see a lot of that style. They go all the way up, all the way down. They're real, real faint right now. Pretty much the whole rock face here has them, has them on there. And then you got the ones that are cut into the patina as opposed to the ones that are cut into, you know, the cream-colored rock. Look at these ones. Look how old they are. They're almost disappeared from the sun. There's some man shapes, some animals, some snake just pointing at my Osmos Pocket 3. That's me. Sometimes I get in the picture. But this whole rock has peckings in it. Just old ones. Just kind of hilly up there. But you're kind of looking at it. Just when I think I'm getting out of the wind, I walk right back into it. Can you see them down inside there? This whole face had people spend time up here and just peck on it. I am just not 100% certain about this cave. Is there anything over here? No? 
down and they go down so I can look up into there we go down into that crevice sorry if I'm swinging you around I'll slow it down getting pretty good at that actually nope just a just a little crevice right down through there with some petroglyphs above it. Oh, and you know how I know that this was a structure? <laughs> You're going to go, no, Jeff, how do you know this is a structure? I showed one in the last video, not just snake skins. But I showed you survey marker. So this was a structure at one point. And it was an old one because this deteriorated so much. Maybe they slipped in that little crevice and it just filled in with dirt. But there's my geo surveys right there. So we know something was there. Then you follow this all the way down. And then you get to the pit house. You get to the defensive position behind there. Or the watchtower, as I like to call it. I'm going to stick with the watchtower. It's a second defensive position that I found inside the canyon here that I've come across structures up on a peninsula a finger of land sticking out definitely a choke point getting into it as on previous videos hope you guys are watching them and liking them i'm supposed to throw that in but these are mostly for my family so hope you all enjoying these <laughs> if you do like and follow please but you can see right up here where that survey marker was there might be some stonework left standing up there but I think it's much more so is that a good English word much more so down here <laughs> in theory you should be able to find stuff here simply because when they surveyed it, I was told, they didn't take anything. They put it back where they found it, buried it. There's a spot up past the Great Hunt. I talked with a guy that was on the road crew who said that they came across a, a Fremont fire pit. And they dug it up, put the road down, Opened back up the road and dug it and buried the uh, the fire pit exactly where it was. So, I say so. Damn it, I gotta quit doing that. Here is a groove. I'm betting that was a grindstone. And that's my first wild one, so to speak, here in the canyon. And, true to form, here was... A survey marker. Is that it? Yep, I think that's it. So there was a site up above. That survey marks this house. And you can see, I'm hoping you can. The square building, the standing stones. We got a grindstone, and I swearly, swearly that that was a grinding stone. We are standing inside a pit house. That grinding stone is right there. You can definitely see it. And you can see where they squared off rocks, or brought them in, squared off. And we're standing inside a pit house which is pretty darn cool. I'm not gonna lie to you folks.
there was a family living here a thousand plus years ago. I think I'm going out the front door. It's my story. I get to narrate it, right? If you got a difference of opinion, don't yell at your TV or your computer or your phone. Let me know down in the comments. Now, how's that, though, for a backdrop to your house? Thanks for watching part two. Stay tuned for part three, where we will get out and take a closer look at the defensive structure on the cliff end, as well as the pit house, and hopefully get to spend some time in it at night. As always, thanks for the travels. Be safe.